That attack is a little bit unfair. It's, it's pretty brutal. I suppose if I can think in my head of which buttons to push, I'll try and maybe I'll see if what you said, maybe that one, maybe you can dodge under it. Yeah, I don't know. I figured you probably already tried it. You were still getting killed. Or that's why I asked that because I wasn't sure if you were actually trying it or not. Or if that even worked. I don't know. I think what I struggle with, and it's in the game in general really, it's like getting started with running. Because you ha you can't just run, you have to do a roll first. And it takes so freaking long to do a roll. When you're like trying to evade. Okay, I can roll through that. That's interesting. Oh, weird. I can't roll through that. They literally give you no way of knowing mechanics, physics, or game physics, without trying stuff. So. Oh shit. Again, not paying attention to my health. Do you know what I think it is? And I'm, I i don't want to sound like I'm making excuses. I think it's like where the health bar is. It's in a, to me, it's in a bit like, bit of an odd place. Yeah, I mean, having them all on the, down the left. Uh, well, that's not uncommon. There's a lot of bar, but, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the color. And I, I think maybe a, a good add-on, maybe they even tried it and it annoyed people, I don't know, but like, once you got down to like one quarter or whatever left, it would, it would start having a, a, a flash or glimmer. Kind or of like what Zelda did where it used to beep at you if you was on one heart or something. Well, okay, I don't I played Zelda, but I didn't. I basically never did. Like I, I like, I, I saw it more than I played it. Basically, I never. I wouldn't have gotten a single achievement through the time I played it. It just wasn't my thing. And then everybody is watching. Yeah. They break the keyboards and monitors going pounding on the desk. How oh, could you not like Zelda? What's he doing there? That was a vertical one. Yeah, that's for me. He, he threw out a new attack there that I hadn't seen before. It was quite interesting. I also felt like he wasn't giving me as many enemies either to kind of 
yeah, recover my magic. Up. Yeah. So I th I thought it was on a pattern, but it's, maybe not. I so. mean, it it, it 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 sort of is. It's, there is a pattern, but there's also a bit of randomness to, in between each thing. But I'm seeing it. Okay, it starts out with less than 100%. Yeah, it's like his health points are already made for the percentage down. Yeah, there's the ghost chaser or whatever you want to call them, purple black gloves. This is the easy way around them. So you should see how many there are and what pattern they come in. I don't think I like the fact either that like he he because he he pauses attacking while um there's other enemies out until there's like one left so you're still trying to deal with that and pick up the magic shards while he then starts attacking again I don't think that was by accident oh no it wasn't by accident okay yeah. Yeah. The, the devs wanted to be a little shits about it Every fight test was found it too easy to say for certain things and then they adjusted it for stuff like that. I'm like, okay, instead of laying back while he gets attacked by you know, four on one, then it has to cover some extra magic. Uh, now nah, let's let, let the uh, big boss go ahead and start attacking him. Also, let's give him that overpowered Batman symbol kind of thing. Send across the map at any time. You can't seem to dodge it unless you're already in a place you can jump from. I also give me that lightning blast or black And also, we'll, we'll also make it a chance where the player doesn't get the magic things back at all and just the, the magic falls off the map, you know, because that's fair. Yeah, if you land, you're, pick, you're going to try to pick it up. And, in, and they make it so you always land where your magic, your magic is. And yeah, it just knocks it up and off. It's like, sorry, I've been here too crazy. <laughs> wow, you're messing up the timing on this. Yeah. 
but as well, I'm halfway, and I only used two bottles to halfway that time. Yeah, that's good. I mean, good. Still doing very well. Best run yet. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that's my stuff. Yes, sir, I just killed the second to last one. Now let's oh, my goodness. Throw a big bat wing at you. Oh, that is such garbage. That one weapon is absolute garbage. Oh, and he dropped a heart and then it falls off the map. Of course. Why would you give me any form of advantage? It's, like I said, though, before, I, I find it really difficult to kind of get the sprints going. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, it, other than I would say right now, that game and a game before, I think you would have beat them. If, you, if there's a way to knock the damage by the, what I call the bat wings. Because... <laughs> I guess, uh, I think you tried dodging them, uh, rolling, and, uh, and that doesn't work, right? Yeah, uh, like it's that hit and miss. Work. I, mean, I, mean, I think if, what doesn't help you, though sometimes is... That, if you can dodge that right there... And do you know how you did in the last couple of runs? You, you beat him. But that, that one weapon you keep getting hit by every single time. Well, the, the, the dodge roll thing did work. Right? Yeah. Kind of. Because, I mean, isn't, isn't that thing kind of going horizontal? Not vertical? Sometimes it looks like it's the way things are. Like, it's like an but, illusion. <laughs> yeah, like and that's the problem, I think, as well, is, like, it's hard to tell sometimes because of the... Well, see, that was definitely horizontal. The, the other one is definitely vertical because it leaves the black on the top. That's what it is. This it is more fun. Vertical obviously be not that big a deal to dodge and like that one right there unless you run into it. Twice. <laughs> but yeah, the, the horizontal ones should be you should be able to dodge those as well. Otherwise it's that's just Extremely unfair. <laughs> it's a pretty day out. Why did I have to go so gloomy? It would also help if you started out with five bills. Starting out with more health, give yourself more challenge than you really need. <laughs> See, that's half the problem as well. It's like you're using your health to recharge, and then 
you don't get a chance to like literally as you are still drinking your drink to recharge your health you're getting hit by his next attack and then it just negates it negates yeah. the whole like regenerate like getting your health back oh uh, my god i know man maybe we're not meant to be here just yet i mean we're not a million miles off uh, uh, what else what else can you do I mean, like, the only thing you could do that would make any sense is if uh, there was something else you could pick up. Well, we could go to the... Or you're not using your field. Or... We could go to the quarry area and check out some other areas, possibly. Your play, Urko. Yeah, I think let's go check out some other areas just on the off chance that maybe we can either increase our health or we can increase our defense or something like that. Maybe I need to um, maybe I need to look at my perks my perks and my buffs and things a little bit more and Maybe there's like a different thing I can use on there. Would be yeah. more effective. Yeah, I've had similar thoughts, but I really have no clue. Uh, What's that one? Um, where are all the things? Magic Echo. I wonder. Okay. I don't know for sure. I'm just going to try this. I wonder if Magic Echo gives you like an extra life sort of thing if you die. Because that would be helpful. Yeah. I like how they let you get a few Scorpius in. Yeah, see, you gotta be able to dodge that. Not that you can't beat it otherwise, but... That, that hit every single time, like a 100% chance. It ruins things. Well, the Magic Echo thing doesn't give me an extra life, so... Well... One more thing learned.
That's what this game seems to be about, is learning experience. Let's try the Cyan Peril Ring. There's something else about this further in here. You know, that'll get you engaged to the boss. I think it ups your defense, but gives you peril, whatever peril is. Arrow, oh, hold on, but hold on. Percent, percent chance you could take more damage. Either that, or maybe we should try this one, which is the Ash, which gives you, um, I think when we looked at this before, it gives you higher refill on health and magic. So that could be useful as well. But let's, let's give this a go. Give it a go. Give it a run. The episodes are just going to be like fighting this boss over and over again. Ah, you, you at least not doing anything different. You're changing up, trying different things. Okay. Yeah, number one, don't get hit by the boxing. Trying to figure out how to dodge that horizontal back thing right there. That's so really did it before. Yeah, I, sometimes I, I can dodge it, other times I can't. Weird. It, it, it seems like when you, it seemed like when I saw it in that few frames where you rode, it was like you were literally past you when you were burned. And then like, you know how you grow up where you were standing, you were essentially burned and doing the worm and stuff like that. It's like I had to go every, every time you know, laying on the ground. I don't know if man it started good, but it's not good to me. They just do about as much damage as the sword actually. got cornered by them things of all the things to like die on and get cornered by yeah uh, it, yeah i mean it's you can do the same thing every time you get attacked by those particular things but still the one that's really kicking your ass is that yes yeah, so i'm gonna call it bat wing yeah no i i, and I can understand why because it does look like the bat wing it's just like it's, it's hit constant. and miss it's hit and miss though as to where he lets it off because yeah you if you can roll to the side it seems you can dodge it but you can't like yeah. roll under it towards it as if it's coming towards you because obviously he's playing it across the ground so if you're in a corner and you've got nowhere to go at the side you're screwed or if you're on the middle you're screwed because it covers almost the whole top yeah that's the thing because i swear I have to get back to footage, but it seemed like dodging a couple times now with the, with the roll, but it had to be timed correctly. I mean, maybe I'm I'm seeing things that could that could be, <laughs> but then I, I swear you didn't you didn't because every time you uh, get hit, you got the color change and the flashing and whatever, uh, and that didn't happen. Yeah, 
I think two of the best things you can definitely do is well, I mean, I was even trying to, but yeah, that motherfucker right there is ah, uh, it's getting too. Okay, this perk is no good. Wow, yeah, we could cheese it maybe. So you dodged it. When you rolled for the other thing, he tossed it out right then. Okay. It didn't do you any damage. I've got but, I think I think I've got the plan of attack here. So this right. perk I've got equipped. It's not extra health when you drink the bottle. The bottles are magic instead of health. Oh. So my thoughts are, can I, with one bar of health, just spam the shite out of this, like, projectile thing with four magic meters? So it's possible. I mean, just from a couple of your runs. Uh, yeah, depending on... Depends on what you do the same or not. Not never get burned by the, the little flying at the things. And it should never get damaged by the uh, magic dam uh, damage giver defenders. They give you magic. <laughs> Basically, don't get hit and lose health and damage to kill him. Yeah, I don't think it's... <laughs> I don't think it regenerates my magic fast enough to be a viable strat. Nah. Especially if it, you can't get it. Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't refill my magic as much as I thought it did. So I don't think that is... A viable strategy. Well, we've got two more that we haven't tried. I don't know what they are. Well, as long as you, when you play with it, you figure out what it does, then yeah, that 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 helps. It's got the, the bracer. Looks like it possibly defense up so maybe like yeah, that effective yeah shields up and why is what is that going down i i fear that might be magic because it's kind of like it's in a bar but and then we've got this one as well the, the tincture i guess that's attack up defense down yeah, but, looks like a window, but I'm sure it's supposed to be a shield. But if that's the case, that might not be very good because we're not really using physical attacks against this guy. I mean, yeah, not very often. Unless, I mean, unless it, unless it increases unless it does serious time. damage. Yeah, unless it does serious damage. Yeah, I mean, if it like, even if it doubled your damage. That would make a huge difference. All right. Let's try the bracer. If we don't Give get anywhere, go, like, shall we? Yeah, if, if we don't get anywhere, like trying these last two, though, I think we'll just move on to the quarry just to try and do something a little bit different and maybe come back to it. That you big dummy. Well, things are about to change. See there, right? I was trying to dodge, but it was stuck in an animation. Well, what was that? 
This didn't do that before. He killed his own dude, too. Yeah, I'm not bothered about that. I've, I'm leaning towards, if I can. Awesome. Try to use health. I'm going to die. Um, I'm leaning more towards, like, when it gets the last guy, don't kill him. Because he starts to attack me, I need to focus more on the librarian again, rather than his little cronies. So... Uh, yeah, well, not the, not kill the last one, but not kill the two last ones. Because the senator kills the second to last one, that's when he starts attacking there to me it looked like I I managed to like duck under the bat thing it was weird really weird yeah you didn't get hit by it I just think that's a better strategy because then I can focus better on him. Where can yeah, I go on there? Uh, I'll just. Well, I'll just go on. That was just. Dead. That was BS. I, yeah, see, that fucking wing. It is, but yeah, I was just saying that. You start stacking, and the last one's there, but, but even if you don't go in, he will. Drop the, draw the man. Which, which is gonna actually help. That's where you get your best attacks. Alright. Chunk out. Good, good chunk of help and. I was like hammering the roll button there and he just my character was just not rolling at all. <sighs> I can yeah. do this. I uh, you you were down to uh, yeah. Less like than a, a quarter. I just yeah, need to try and get I need to try and get over halfway with at least three of my health bottles left. And the uh... I mean, it's a given, but I mean, like, the, the easier ones to miss, like the ones that come in at a straight line at you, black thing. There's, I mean, you usually found uh, them pretty well, but sometimes you're the wrong direction to start. And, and, like this. Yeah, like, if you could avoid all of this, 
those are the easiest things. Seems to me anyway to avoid. Fucking giant battery. See how much damage they do. Hey, it's still there. It doesn't kill it every time. This quirky thing. Again, it's like the whole I'm doing freaking health or else I'm going to die and then you hit me with another attack and it negates my freaking health regen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder... I think I should um, it, it, go it, elsewhere. It, 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 <laughs> I wonder if uh, this is like the intent. Yes, you could definitely beat this game. Uh, as you, as you are with different things you use, but, uh, we were getting further earlier on. me playing it, I'd be like, this isn't possible. That's what I would say to myself. I'd be like, yeah, apparently I need to go and do the other one first. And then if I go back to the only other place while I'm there and I'm going to play him, and then I'm like, this doesn't seem possible. Then I never play the game again. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's worth me now. Yeah, I, I really hate artificial difficulty stuff. All right. Which, that, 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 that could be uh, disputed. But, uh, yeah. And it's not always artificial difficulty that gets me to not want to play a game anymore. Sometimes it's many, many other things. <laughs> All right, let's let's go somewhere else. Because this ain't working for us. Yeah, remember, there's just one more thing you can add on that'll give you that. Little tiny extra pump you need. Yeah. And I suppose as well we gotta remember now we actually got a hook shot. We can actually probably access more areas in the main in the main bit over here as well, so like here. Okay, so I, think wow. I, worked, I worked out the magic thing now as well, properly. Okay, what's that? So, you know, I said I didn't... I thought it was just the boss that um, hookshot used the magic, but it's whenever you grapple an enemy, it uses a mag it uses one of your magic points on the uh, grappling hook. Yeah, it does. Which I suppose is a good, it's a good way, because then that just means you can't just go through the entire game grappling enemies. Yeah, that was. I imagine that might have been a thing at first, and then they either they 
thought about it or playtesters were like, hey, yeah, this makes it way too easy. Yeah. For their standards, anyway. I'm sure there's there's all there's always a percentage of people out there that would love it another way, no matter what way it is. But yeah, uh, they're, they're trying to appease as many people as they can with uh, you know, what they're doing, like like everybody else. Unless you're Especially if you're cheap for a real particular genre. Another coin. I'll be sure to throw it down the well. We'll get to that chest. So I get to this one, though. More abilities incoming. Sonic coinage. Uh, I'm wondering why they picked the Sonic way of throwing the coins up. At least that's what it reminds me of. Like when he dies. Um, I'm trying not to grapple you, dude. I want the thing behind you. Yeah, apparently it's... <laughs> Even though I'm distance, locking onto it. Distance uh, overrides uh, where you're aiming. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah. Reality... You would be able to do. You would be able to pull yourself across. But in damn world, uh, you would run into him. What do we do with that? Have, have the player clip through him, and we don't want that look. I don't want any of this reality stuff. I'm playing a game. Yeah, no, exactly. Physics. <laughs> Yeah, which is funny to think about since uh, there's so many games out there that are like the simulators that are of uh, people's jobs. Yeah. You know, it's insane how many there is. I mean, granted, some of them are a joke, which, and then they are funny games to play. Kind of, well, like Goat Simulator, that's not a job one, but. But like uh, uh, surgery, what, what is that one called? Me medic, sim the, uh, surgeon, surgeon. The surgery simulator one, whatever that one is. You can play it and uh, with keyboard, mouse, controller, whatever. But they apparently they have it in VR now. <laughs> Sounds a bit like, uh, I mean, I've not played it myself, but it sounds a bit like Operation. The old uh, board game from, surely you got Ad Operation over there. Oh, yeah, that, well, if you, I guess you could consider it a board game. I'm trying to pick the bones out without touching the metal. Yeah. It's the or, or his nose turns red like Rudolph and. Like, yeah. Bleh! You suck. Nah, uh, this doctor simulator, surgeon simulator, god damn it, what is it called? But anyway, 
No, it has, it's nothing like that at all. You're actually, you have, uh, uh, okay, like the start, and then you have a patient, and they tell you what you need to do. You need to pick the right tool to, like, cut open the, uh, you know, wherever they want you to cut the patient open. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then like you got a you got a bone saw and crap like that you cut the ribs out and and you pull them away the faces the faces uh they're all wonky kind of like gate simulator right uh, okay and that's what makes it so freaking funny watching some people play and then like you you, you gotta uh you don't want to use the wrong tool or even use the tool in the wrong way to cut the patient because you start starts bleeding out more and you got a bleed out meter uh how fast bleeding out and then of course the heart rate starts going up and yada 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 and you're like just grabbing lungs and taking them out <laughs> grabbing heart can, taking it out, grabbing imagine. whatever taking it out and then you got a you got a like you're replacing the heart you get a new one and you're done when you uh, grab the new uh the new heart and just kind of get it in the, the the guy or girl's cavity <laughs> yeah it's very accurate <laughs> i think they teach uh current medical students using that game yeah i'm, I'm sure it's um scientifically approved all right let's um flip it down the wheel did he find out at the end you were just throwing away your money oh yeah more than likely and then you'd be like, if you had saved it, you could have had this power. Like you had a little bubble around you where nothing could penetrate. And you had a super upgraded weapon. All right, let's see what we find out about the manual now. Yeah, kind of like uh, Half-Life 2. Episode. Well, more of the story. So let's yeah. let's let's recap the story. Long, long time ago, civilization, Holy Cross, the power to defy death. Covered in a forest temple, stolen to the top of the sky, and sealed at the root of the world. Okay. So I guess that thing in the frog temple is in the sky then. That's the thing that was stolen, right? The green thing? Must be. But there is something in this forest temple, it seems. And then there is something at the root of the world. Again, the same battle. Fought uncountable times. Air to the air. And that's all we get. Great story. <laughs> oh boy. To be fair, I think we've only got like one or two pages left of the story, so... this game really that short uh, i did do a quick like look up um just to get uh what this i did do a quick look up and i think it said an average playthrough if you're not going for like all achievements and everything was about 12 hours depends how much you to kind of like take to um that's around yeah yeah wasn't that the one that we were talking about was it yesterday 12 to uh, uh, like 12 to 12 to 50 hours and 50 to 90 achievements or was that a different game uh and i think that was probably was a, different a different game person? i think it was a different game and i think it was probably a different person i don't remember having that conversation okay so but probably... that doesn't say this conversation didn't happen i just don't remember that conversation <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'm wrong. And oh, look at that. We got a new um, 
Hey, that might be helpful. What is that? So we got a new, we got a second oh, slot. Oh, got a new slot. A second perk slot from the well. Ah, nice. Now that right there. Enough to yeah. Little magic man over there. So that's helpful. Oh, without a doubt. It cost me 999 coins, but. Luckily, well you had 999. And a few. Uh, that was the tip. It's a little bit um, right. spooky down here. I'm sure they didn't mean to make it look like this at all. I mean, it's meant to be a forest temple. I'd have thought it'd been like Forcing. really well lit. Yeah. Strangely uh, neat light. Yeah. You know what I said. Yeah, bitch. I love the fact that the spiders kind of like back away from you. It's almost like the um, the, uh, the ghost mechanics in Mario. You look at them and they back away from you. Yeah, it's actually a feature that they put in that's also, uh, that's also helpful to you. So like, you know, you hit them. See? They back up to the rest of their guys and kill them. I'm not sure coming into like a spider's den though is probably the wisest of ideas, but. Yeah, not according to my. Uh, my pet spider that I haven't. I have. I have it's a pet spider, but. Uh, made at home and I'll let them stay. And it's really cool the amount of shit he's picked up and and how his uh, how well he's done for himself to expand on his empire. His web is much bigger. He's got tons of feed and then I saw Another spider come in and try to take care of her. He ain't put up with it. I actually saw it go down. It, it should be a series on TV, I tell you. Oh, I, I was just about to say, I, I'd be very careful. Um, you know, you, you, you're letting him get his feet under the table, man. You know, it won't be long before he's moving his family in. <laughs> uh, I'm watching, watching for spider sacks. Yeah, he, he totally got rid of that uh, other one. He's like tripled in size since uh, he first started. I make mean, it well, and for context. Hey, okay, that's gonna help. Let's say. Yeah, mushrooms. Sweet. That's gonna increase our magic, magic power capacity. So, that's definitely gonna help. This is uh, a right maze. This is 